<clears throat> I got my friend out of a major jam because he was about to move in with his girlfriend. And I left Mutual a friend of ours? On, uh, you've met him. Oh, Big but not. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he, he uh, was about to move in with his girlfriend, but he had a Colombian girlfriend on the side, that side piece. And uh, I called and I said, hey, hey, Bubba, looking for you. You might be out with your uh, Colombian girl, but whatever. And she heard the message. Ooh. And he called me up and he goes, hey. way to hey, go, B. Yeah, hey, way, way fuck to go. face. Hey. Way to go, I'm, man. I'm a dead man and I got to find a way out of this. And so I go, okay, call me up. Call me up and ask me what I meant. Is this recently? No, this is. He is too know, old for this. We could now. We were younger. But it was, it was, listen, you know, these are situations where you're about to move in with your girl. Your house is on fire. This and Brian is, Callen drops and the ball. I fucked, I fucking, I grenaded. Yeah. I dropped a little grenade. Like, you guys going to move in happily ever after? Here you go. You might if I pull the pin and just nah. drop this. You guys have a good time. Good news. Oh God. I mean, she's losing her shit. So she's, by the way, at the time in Austin, she was on a business trip. Calls up. He goes, hey. I go, hey. And he goes, um. Uh, you mentioned something about my co- Colombian girl. I go, what? And he goes, my Colombian girl. I go, uh, I did. And he goes, yeah. What were you talking about? I go, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I mentioned that. He goes, we either did or you didn't. I go, and I go, oh, fuck. You mean Nina the neck roll? Nina the neck roll. Nina the neck roll. He goes, what? I go, why were you talking to that girl? She had neck. Me and Jimmy were talking. You were talking to her, that Colombian girl, that giant Colombian girl. You were talking to her all fucking night, and we were looking at her neck rolls, and I've never seen anything like it. And I went through a whole up. a whole detailed story about Nina and her neck rolls. And he's good? And he, he and, and it got him out of the fucking mix. I just I just had to keep that focusing on the neck roll. That neck roll remind you of that long story. A little long story. <laughs> but I got him out of it. He called me up and he goes, you're a genius. I'm good. And I go... Well, you might want to, you know, not, Jesus Christ, not be with. And then that Colombian girl turned out to be, uh, well, she was a hooker. I didn't know this. <laughs> it sounds like it's- well, she was a hooker, and then, uh, but 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 then she stopped. She kind of see she'll lure him in where he was paying her, and then she goes, "You don't have to pay me anymore." But she wanted, yeah. she wanted Daddy Warbucks. Yeah. And then he decided he had to break up with her, and then she threatened to have her her narco Jesus boyfriend Christ come out kill him. My God. Yeah. So there was that. It was it was really good. It's good stuff. No more neck and, rolls. Uh, and then he was killed. And then your friend died. <laughs> and then he died. He was pulled apart. It'd be nice. Uh, with motorcycles. Do you, do you get a lot of hate? Well, because you, you know, you say some controversial stuff or you, I guess you stand yeah, some stuff. Well, I always tell people my, I think it's like my, my, like my iTunes, you know, they have their album and they put the iTunes review average. It's, all, it's almost always two and a half stars. Two and a half. <laughs> because it's, you know what it is? It's. Every review is five stars or one star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's three. I guess that would be the You're difference. You're not in the middle. Yeah. It's, Haters. Like, I, like it's literally like the greatest album of all time, followed by this man needs to have, wash his mouth out with soap and talk to his mama, yeah. followed by the yeah, greatest artist of ever who lived, followed by, you know, five, like, what's wrong with, like, he needs mental help. You know, it's yeah, just that's like. That's how it goes, there's man. Not, and I, that's what I love. I don't want. You don't, don't want to be in the middle. I don't want B minuses. You no. know, I want well, A's yeah, and yeah. F's. There's a guy yeah. that's saying in stand up too. Like if you're pissing off twenty percent of the audience, you're doing your job. A's and F's. Yeah, yeah. I mean you that's really always, what. No C's up in here. And you know that's what my problem with country music nowadays is. There's nothing that they put out there that could. They they don't want to piss anybody off. It's just yeah. they're playing it so fucking safe. You know. Haven't they always though? Hasn't country music always well, been? Well, that's I mean that's why those guys are my heroes. Is like back in the seventies, it got really like. Poppy too. It's just the technology wasn't there, but they put a lot of orchestration on it. It became yeah. very sappy. And then Waylon came in, and Willie were just like, "Fuck this!" We're, they actually went. They left Nashville, went back to Texas, oh, okay. stripped down the band. Just guitar, they go, "Fuck this!" Guitar, bass, pedal steel. Mm-hmm. We're going to record live, you know, just with the band. But and that was like country music seemed to be always be about. I don't know enough about it, but it did always seem to be pretty literal. And the metaphors were like, you know, it was about the girl. About the guy, about being American, and you always had to be careful. Like the Dixie Chicks, when they came out against the president, their their that audience turned on them. Oh, you they know. So, oh, so I mean, like nothing. You they ever shot them to Mars. Yeah, no, yeah, they literally were like, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So no, it was it was, it was pressure it was on country over, yeah. musicians. Literally, career over from all that hard work. They went Damn. up on the stand. And they were so good too. And it was, yeah, it was like that makes what that happened to them makes Kevin Spacey almost look like nothing. You know? I guess so. Is it, is it had they ever bounced back? No. Well, they just did a they just did a, a world tour, their first wow. one that I think um, 
since then that I think was it I feel touring like is different because you know just fans yeah, can come yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I think the tour the tour went pretty well. I don't right. know some buddies of mine. But did people just yeah. stop buying their albums? Is that what? Well, happened? what what happened was at the time when they did what it. happened was yeah it was um it wasn't even people were we actually were calling up the stations and going. If you play this, we ain't listening to your station anymore. So it's like, it. Wow. So, so the stations didn't really ban it. They were just like, had to have meat. Like, what do the we do? The marketplace spoke. Yeah, right? it was. It was. I mean, and I, I'm pissed at the stations in some ways, but also, what do you do if everyone says we ain't listening to your station? You don't you play, play the music. It? Yeah. It's, it's a. It's, it's a, a business. But didn't just business. one? Didn't they got up there and didn't just the main one say something? And the other two were all. I did mushrooms yeah. with my friends one time. And we were. It was like Fourth of July, and we were we were at a fountain in DC, and we and my buddy just looked at us, and he goes, "Hey, bros, what?" He goes, "We've been looking at this fountain for fucking an hour and a half. <laughs> we were goes. all just staring at the fucking fountain." I feel hey, like I was, I will, will fans be able to see the video? Parts of it, yeah. See. I did. Uh, I did mushrooms once. That's when I never liked it. We went back to my our house and we played that. What was that old NBA basketball? NBA game? Jam. NBA Jam, and we did both decide that like. Like, why does this game have to be like competition, man? We should just go hang out with the fans. <laughs> and we both want, you know, it stops the game when the ball goes out of town. So we both, we were both like wanting to go. So t- we were both so out of it. We wanted to go talk and hang out with the fans, like be more loving, you know? <laughs> it's like life ain't a competition. It's about meeting That's people. so funny. We just, kept, we just kept trying to walk into the stands. Like, Did, you, mushrooms you, will fuck you up. Do you ever? smoke or drink before concerts? No, I've, uh, weed before a show is horrible. With lyrics, yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, yeah. And I'll I'll have a couple of drinks sometimes, but I've actually been recently, well, just with the with the with the, you know, the road is tough. Speaking of journey, you know, it's just the road one, you, there's there's no way to kind of recover. There's no recovery day. It's no. like the next night is Kansas City, then Oklahoma City. So and you fly or are you on a tour bus? We're on a bus. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like no, you can't do you, you can't, can't be... do it. Yeah, I'll try. I'll I'll have a couple of drinks maybe. But are you? Uh, do you have you ever done mushrooms? No, never, huh? They are trippy, man. Mushrooms change your life. <laughs> they changed scary, my life. Dude. People say that about DMT too and stuff. I, I don't yeah. think I don't think there's a drug, I've done both. a mushrooms liquid will that will up. ever change my life. Mm, mushrooms. And maybe I was a young man, but goddamn. Maybe it's when you're younger. I and took you're... a three hour shower and I came out a new a new person. <laughs> but you know, people say DMT like oh, you'll never yeah. look at the world the same. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. yeah. that's good stuff. Did it when I was thirty one. Fun as fuck. Well, I've never. Done... Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm like you yeah, a little bit too, and just like anybody. Times somebody's told me this is going to change your life. I'm like, I don't know, man. It never mm. does. Yeah. yeah, what does that mean? Change your life. I mean, what's your opinion on immediate rematches? Aldo is getting one that's just a matter of circumstance. But after UFC two f- two seventeen, a lot of people were talking about JJ and Cody and whatnot. What's your stance? JJ, yes, because of her legacy. Cody, no, because he didn't defend the belt. So if you have a long history of defending the belt and you're multi time world champion, immediate title defenses make sense, just like they do in boxing. But uh, if if you were kind of you beat the champ and then you get the belt and then you lose, you're not get you got to kind of work your ba- way back up the ladder. Depend on the division, but uh, especially in that division, bantamweight especially. T- look at what TJ had to go through. So it all depends on your legacy and, and where you're at in your career and your fame level. What do you think about Rose kind of brushing off the immediate rematch? Uh. She can do that. It, she doesn't have enough power or, or fame or control to to really have a say in it. Mm-hmm. She's. I would be willing to bet she fights Joanna next. Okay, I mean Joanna deserves it after. She deserves anything. it. The other matchups. There's not again. There's not. They're not great for Rose. The, the matchups and um, it. Joanna be your next. Do you know Thanksgiving's next week? I no. I just found out you like know, recently. Can I be honest? You know what? Holiday. I don't give a really? fuck about thanks. Giving. Wow. Why? I could give two fucks. A, I don't like turkey. It's a dry ass bird. I think we should have pizzas or calzones. <laughs> the other, it's just, I don't care about it, man. I do not oh. care about Thanksgiving. I know it's fucked up. Might be anti American. I don't know. I, I'm not a Thanksgiving guy. The food's all right. Stu- I like stuffing. Mm-hmm. I like cranberry sauce. Stuffing's the best. I like mm-hmm. pumpkin pie, pecan pie with a nice cup of oh, coffee. Yeah. I've never had pecan pie. Oh my god, it's god the damn best. It, <laughs> Seriously, is there a pecan pie? Ever. If it's done well, it's the best. Oh my god, done it's wrong, so it's a night. The thing about, it, I think the secret is to always stay connected with your kids. Whether they, if you can't see them as much, at least call. That's what phones are yeah, for. No That's what, what FaceTime are for. Yeah. Always continue to tell your children, "I love you." Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, they remember it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So even if they don't see you, they know Daddy still love me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Did and you I think Did secret. you grow up with that? 
with 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 parents like like, like that saying like, they love you and yeah, stuff. Nah, I didn't grow, you know, my family wasn't like that. You know what I mean? Uh, we didn't grow up in a family where they said, you know, not constantly. You know, yeah. I remember probably t- two times my father said he loved me. One time he was whooping me. Damn, you know what I mean? You know, you know, I whoop you because I love you. Yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> and man. that's what I told Mr. Vern too when I whooped. I said I'm gonna whoop you because I love you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So you know what I mean. But the thing about it, though, even although my family didn't tell me that, you know, but I, I they showed me in other ways. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Especially my father, because even when my mother, uh, even when my mother stepped out of the picture uh, for a while, my father was there. He you took know over. What I mean? Took all care of all of us. Sometimes he wouldn't. How many? Eat. Well, it was four of us at that time. <sighs> you know what I mean? And for especially for a man, God you know what I mean. Him. Yeah, so he did everything, you know what I'm saying? So that must I had to respect him for that, you know. How that's can you what not? Made, yeah, that's what made me a strong man and being able I'm a provider. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I might not be there all the time physically, but mentally and spiritually, you know, I'm always there. I mean, you know, not even just for my kids, not even just for my family, but other families as well too. I do a lot of stuff for people. Like that, I just man. don't promote it out there because yeah. I do it from the heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't need publicity out there. Oh, wow. Did this, I don't need that. You I know feel like I mean? you'd be doing it anyways if you were a world champion or not. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. I've been I've always been known to be a provider. You know what I mean? Always. and Because I'm a great type of guy that can save my money too and I put it in the right areas as well too. But even, even before money, the little things that I had, you know, I, I still was able to give people something that, did, that was not fortunate to have For as sure. much as I had. Yeah. And I think these are the times where God is smiling down on me yeah. and blessing me so much mm-hmm. because boxing is just a platform that he put me on. I think at the end of my life, when it's all said and done, it's going to be way beyond boxing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? This is just a stage to gather the people. For sure. To Get speak the message. And then after that, man, I don't, you know, I think you got something big in store for me. <laughs> 